Hello and welcome to part 1.1 in this series building this simple floppy robin game for Android. I thought I'd do this part 1.1 actually just to show the Windows setup of the project in Visual Studio um, because I was thinking when people are looking through the series maybe they're put off by the fact that I'm using Xcode despite the fact that uh, as I said in the first video Cocos 2DX is completely cross-platform it doesn't really matter what IDE you use to build the project and what will happen anyway once we've got all the C++ code sort of finished and in place C++ code sorry finished and in place we'll be moving then to using Eclipse which is the same on the Mac or Linux or on Windows anyway so without further ado to get this running on Windows what you need to do is you need to go to python.org download and well there's the full um, link uh, address already here to two point, version 2.7.6 which I've downloaded uh, just before doing this video um, because I don't really use my Windows PC apart from anything but playing iRacing and there's the various there are the various Windows installers either the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version which I use just download that and then run the installer and let it all do its stuff and what that'll do actually is then add into your um, file extensions path all of the necessary stuff to be to be able to let you run uh, Python scripts from the command line. The next thing you need to do is to go to cocos2dx.org and you need to go to the download section as I pointed out in the first video just go down to looking for an older version and then download the package for the version 2.2.1 and then what you'll want to do when you've downloaded this is you'll want to then extract that package which I've done into directly into the C drive into Cocos2dx and it takes a while on Windows in fact I had a nightmare uh, getting this to uh, extract properly I don't know why also download and then you'll have everything in there just as in the video with the Mac inside your Cocos2dx and inside there is a directory called tools and in there is the project creator and here is the Python script which creates the project and that's what we're going to do right now so I've got the command line window where I've already navigated to the address of the project creator and all you need to do is you need to type a line in there now unfortunately can I make my window a bit yes I can good the line is a little bit long that you need to type um, and I'm trying to find it here amongst all the things I've actually typed here it is and you'll be doing create project underscore project dot pi space dash project space simple floppy robin dash package uh, sorry space dash package space now here for your package name don't use com dot blue fever dot simple floppy robin use something else because I've already used this and already uploaded to the Google Play Store an application with this package name so use something different to this but this is what I've used and it doesn't really matter what you use here as so long as the name doesn't conflict with any other Java packages or anything so just put whatever you want here but usually the way of doing it is sort of a, a reverse domain name kind of way of doing things space dash language space CPP and I'll put this um, line actually in the details of this video so you can just copy and paste it in. So once you've installed Python remember then this should run automatically so if I press enter now you'll notice there's a bit of a pause and now what's happening is is it's telling us that it's created all of the relevant projects telling us the path it's created in and telling us to have fun very good. So I bring back up the directory structure now and just go back up into uh, Cocos 2DX in the projects folder here you'll see we've now got simple floppy robin and this is exactly the same with our classes here as we had in the first video and the important thing is if you're on Windows you'll want to be looking at to start with the project proj.win32 folder and in here there's a solution for Visual Studio now you'll see here it's got a little 10 here because this is I've already got Visual Studio 2010 Pro installed you'll also be able to run this from the Express version which is free now this morning I was going to download or tried to download the 2012 Express version uh, and the process went something like this open the website um, go to the download page click download crash open the website go to the download page click download ask to sign in sign in with my Microsoft developer account crash 
I tried this three times and to be honest I just gave up. I've got the pro version of 2010 anyway and I'm pretty sure all this works with the Express Edition which is free to download. So download whichever version uh, you want or whichever version you've already got. Then we can double click on the solution and this could take on my uh, Steam computer here a little bit, uh, or Steam Power Computer, a little bit of time to load up. It hasn't. Good. And now you can see on the right hand side here in the Solution Explorer we've actually got the project. So it's almost structured exactly the same as in Xcode, all the different libraries. And again, to be honest, I don't know what you think when you see this, but I think the job that the guys have done on this uh, platform, or this framework, sorry, uh, for Cocos 2DX is, is pretty unbelievable. The fact that you can have the classes in C++ inside a classes folder, which can then be used in all the projects for different platforms is pretty mind-boggling to me, the way they've set this up. It's extremely well done. Um, and inside your simple floppy robin here then, You've got the classes here, which you'll need to add um, as we do in Xcode when you're adding the links to them in the folder. And then you've got the Win32 folder here. And inside the Win32 folder here is this important part I was telling you about in Xcode where we can change the size of the window that starts up. And we're going to change this to 960 and 480 and just save that. And now what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to build the solution here and I hope that this doesn't take too long whilst I'm building. I can see some things popping up down the bottom now, some warnings and things which says it's uh, all kicking off and going. Because also Cam Studio is running at the same time, so this computer isn't especially powerful. I think it's a 2.3 or 4 gigahertz dual core. Ah, build succeeded, things have already built. So now I can just run this hopefully and there you go, we get our 960 by 480 window and I've just realized it shouldn't be 480 it should be 640 I'll just save this and run it again uh, would you like to build it yes of course just waiting for it to build it shouldn't take too long and we have our window okay 960 by 640 so this is exactly the same state we we're in at the end of the first um, tutorial video for Cocos, uh, for Cocos 2DX for this simple floppy robin but just on Windows running inside a window and to reiterate the reason I'm doing it like this in Xcode or in Visual Studio on Windows and not in Eclipse straight off is it's much quicker to be able to run the applications inside a window in this way with the size we want than it is to run the applications on the Android emulator or Android devices and, and, and things like that from Eclipse so it's much better to get things done and sorted in the C++ code in this way I find than before going into Eclipse. So if I just turn that off, again to reiterate, it's exactly the same structure as it is in the Xcode for the other videos. We'll be working purely in this classes folder, adding our classes into here. And the only other thing I'm not sure of with Windows is how you do it with the resources. I'm just looking through these external dependencies here. There's nothing in there. I assume that you just simply add the resources into the resources folder as I've done with Xcode for the project. So there is the resources folder here. So you just add the sprites into here as normal. So hopefully this video has helped a little bit just to understand that it's not any different in Windows. And I'll repeat for about the fifth time in this video, just keep working on the C++ code as I do in all the other videos inside this classes folder. And you should be good to go because it's all cross-platform and it doesn't matter where we type this code. And we'll be moving on then once we've got all the C++ code sorted in the application, we'll be moving on then into Eclipse anyway, which is the same then on all platform. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.